Hey guys, my name is Hayden and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how I'm creating my footer component for my website. So this video is very similar to the previous video I released about the header component. So if you've not checked that out, be sure to take a look. But this time we're gonna be creating a footer component that sits at the bottom of each web page. Uh, that will store things like social media information, returns, policy, deliveries, emails, kind of all the normal stuff that you would expect to see in a footer. Cool, so if you've not seen it before, this is what it will look like. Uh, last video we created the header component up here, but today we're going to be creating the footer component, which is all this kind of information down here. You can see it's a nice little neat uh, component that sits at the bottom of the website and, and the bottom page and has like returns, policy, contact information, terms and conditions and LinkedIn and, and things like this. Cool, so if you've not done so already, check out the last video where we created the header and navbar component, but we're gonna follow a very similar design pattern here, um, which we did with them, where we're gonna go into common, um, add a footer folder, add a footer JSX file, um, and import React from React, import footer.css, and then uh, function footer return Ooh. and this is going to be our uh, footer component and then we just need to export default footer uh, nothing really um, complex there you know import react import the CSS let's create the CSS file that's that done, we don't need that for now. Um, and export it, we do need a um, index.js file. And inside that we just need to import footer from footer, export default footer, there we go. And then that's pretty much that done. And we just come into our common index.js now. And if you remember in the last video, this is kind of why I wanted to uh, design it like this because it makes this super easy for extending because now all we need to come down here is just import footer from footer. That's all done. We can jump into app.js now and because we import header from common, we can also put import footer from common because obviously we've now added it into this section here. So we do that. And if I now import my footer, you can see there I have it. I have my footer. Uh, what I am going to do is just kind of spam in a few line breaks just so we can see a clear separation of the footer at the bottom of the page there. So you can see we've got our header component up here and our footer component there. So that's the kind of basic uh, layout that we can do to expand out on this. So that should be all for now. Uh, let's jump into the actual footer component now and start building it out. I do just quickly want to go through the kind of uh, design of the HTML elements on the page before we start like I did in my previous video. So um, as you can see we kind of got the header component here but today we're making the footer component so we're basically going to have this kind of top section with the social media icons and then we've got the kind of right center left bit that will have um, you know terms and conditions, contact me and kind of other bits in the bottom there. Uh, so just to give you a bit of an idea of how it will look and how it will be structured in HTML. Cool, so inside here now we just need to kind of expand out the kind of structure of what I showed you in that diagram. Um, so let's have a section there. Uh, we need to do um, kind of a horizontal line break here. Uh, we need that kind of top section for the kind of uh, social icons. And we need the bottom section, you know, kind of for the left, right and center stuff. Um, so that should be that. What I'm going to do is just add this as a, uh, as, a, um, as a link. So we can say this is a link to social. And we can just add a couple little bits as well that just kind of just that's going to complain if I don't do that. That just basically says, um, can I just do something like that? Yeah, cool. So this will just link here and it'll just believe it pops out into a new tab. Um, so you can see the socials there. But we need to create this bottom bit now. And this bottom bit needs that kind of left, center, and right section. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just create three sections now. So this will be the 
uh, left, this will be the center, and this will be the uh, right section. So we've got left, center, and right. And in fact, we can, what I'm going to do is just give them a class name so that we can. So this is left, this is center, and we also have right. And then what I want to add in the left one is, um, if you saw in the start, we kind of had my name and then the returns policy. So that's quite simple. All I'm going to do is just kind of copy and paste some code into here. So as you can see there, I've got um, the name, the returns policy, and just some class names around that. So if I save that now, oh, what's happened there? So that tag relates to that tag, that tag. Oh, I've got one extra tag here. So that tag relates to that tag. That tag is incorrectly indented. There we go. Cool, so we have the top and the bottom, the top and the bottom. In the center, what do we want? We want uh, kind of the email address and terms and conditions. So I'm just gonna bring that in. So as you can see here, we've just got um, the kind of shop email and terms and conditions there. And then on the right section, what do we want? We want like kind of contact number and contact us information. So I'm just gonna again, copy and paste from the example I showed you at the start into there. <laughs> Cool, and then that's the basic CSS, uh, sorry, HTML. That's the basic HTML structure that we need. Um, what I do want to do up here actually is just uh, give this a class name of footer um, and also um, give this a class name of footer separator because then we can have a bit more. Um, Bit more customization over it, and actually, this um, I want social media for to social media as well, just so we can have some customality over that. Uh, this kind of info section, um, I want to have a class name as well, so we have um, some info, so we can we can customize how that looks and behaves, and that's pretty much it. So we have a, a footer component that has that kind of top row in it. I will tell you what we're missing as well. We're missing a um, we're missing a footer separator at the bottom, aren't we? So let's take that from the top, go all the way down to the bottom and add a line in there and then you see, perfect. So that's awesome now. So we've got all the stuff, all we need to do is just kind of CSS style this now. So we have a footer, we have a separator, then we have that top section with the social media icon. Uh, I didn't think in the example I called that uh, LinkedIn, but you could just call that anything. There we go, changes the name. Uh, or like Instagram, depending on where you put this link to or depend on where it takes you. Uh, so if you see I click that, it just takes me to where I am now currently. Um, so that's the top section. Then you have that info section here, which you can see inside that we have the left, center and right section. So left, center and right info, left, center and right. Inside that we have returns policy. Inside the center one we have terms and conditions and contacting us. And on the right, we have our phone number and contacting us as well. So it's kind of just a nice little basic footer there. And finally, again, um, rather than explaining out, so all we basically need to do here is um, use FlexGrid to kind of put this bit at the top, put these two bits on the left, put these two bits in the center, and put these two bits in the right. So three bits in the right. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste CSS and here again, CSS is the most exciting thing to um, talk about. So it's not really that interesting, so I'm not going to go into detail. If you do want a video on kind of CSS grid and how to use it and stuff like that, I can you know share my two cents on that. So comment below if you would like to see. But that is pretty much it. You know, once you've got the kind of basic setup of the footer and you copy the CSS, again, all the CSS will be in... Um, a git repo so be sure to check it out I'll, I'll put a tag into it as well um, and that's pretty much it yeah and there we go you can see and obviously we can have um, if we go back to app.js you know if I put in something like uh, you can kind of see that we have our content of our page in the middle we have our header and we have our footer and these sit at the top and the bottom of our pages and you know it works really well 
and we can reuse these everywhere they're just a, a generic component that we can use which is uh, really good cool there we go so we created a footer component now that um, can sit at the bottom of our website so we have that header component in the previous video and a footer component now which is really good in the next video I'm going to be describing react router and how basically we can um, keep the header and the footer constant on our web page and only change that content in the middle of the web page so we're not re-rendering the header and the footer each time it's just the content in the middle of the web page that will change um, so be sure to subscribe uh, like comment if you found these useful if you didn't find them useful please comment as well uh, any feedback i appreciate you know helps me make better videos and all the good stuff i appreciate you taking the time out to watch these videos and i hope you found them useful uh, thanks for watching and have a great day